Welcome to Reality Hunt Club. In this webisode, we're putting up our electric fence, so stay tuned. Chuck and Gabby we're trying this new offset design we got some peas that just come up in the last couple of days um, worked on the fence a little bit yesterday and this morning is just beautiful the gnats are staying out of so anyway um, we're gonna talk about the offset design a little bit more but as you can see we got a three foot gap between these poles and we got a 10 inch a 10 inch uh, and yeah a 20 a uh, a 10, a 22, and about a 36. Now the 36 one right here is just something me and Chuck are adding because we just want a little bit more confidence in it. What do you think, Chuck? <laughs> and so we've got these three strands. We're in the process of tightening them up. Then we're going to put an 18 here, which is this hole right here. And we're going to go from there. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a little while. We'll talk about this fence design some more. So first thing we did is we figured out what we wanted and we went and bought these small poles. We bought two types of small poles. One is because we couldn't get the exact height we were looking for. It seemed to be working out pretty good. So then we came out here and we laid it out, marked it out, and then we got our auger that we bought last year and we drilled uh, 38 holes for the big aluminum poles. So we actually have a mixture of the big aluminum poles and the small poles as you see now. So once we dug our holes, then we went in there and got our tape measure and um, we set the poles the right, correct height. Like I said, the outside one's 18 inches, the inside one's about 10, and uh, the, the first string on the inside is 10, the second string is 22, and the third string is about 36. The outside string is um, 18. I'll show you a diagram of that right now. And it's, it's what we call in the modified version of the offset design, because you're not supposed to, they didn't recommend or they didn't suggest the third string at 36, but Chuck and I looked at it and we kind of got a little queasy and said, we got that, we got the extra string, let's run it around there and put it up. So, um, so now we're up here and we're, we're tying them in, we're fixing to tighten it up. Then we're gonna hook it to the charger. And once we do that, I'll show some video of that and have some final comments and then we'll turn it on and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned and I'll, I'll walk you around the, the finalized version of it. Day Terry. What's 24 7? 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, Terry. Oh, Terry, 24 7? You're just a 12 year old happy to be driving. Is that exactly 18 inches? 
<laughs> All right, we're up here. We're basically done. Chuck's getting the charger out of the truck. He's finna put it in. So we got all four of our strings up. I'll show you that right now. So basically, we're calling it the Campbell Givens Offset Design. Just because we put a little flavor, our little flavor to it ourselves. Let me show you what we're talking about. So basically, you got two poles, and that first string is 18 inches off, this one here. And the net and then the pole, the outside pole is 18 inches high. The inside pole, there's three feet in the gap in between. You see the three foot gap. Okay, and then you got that the first string is 10 foot and the next string is 24 inches off the ground, not 10 foot. The first string is 10 inches off the ground, the second one is 24 inches off the ground. Now, the offset design that I showed you, that, that's basically it. But since Chuck and I had another string, we decided to put another one 36 inches off the ground. Just to make it maybe a little bit more discouraging for the deer. Now. Let's look at it from a deer's perspective, okay? Supposedly a deer, can, he's got blue and gray cones anyway. You know he sees in blues and grays. Supposedly the scientists have said that they have trouble with the um, death perception is why this works. They said they walk up to the one that about a little bit higher than the 18 inches and they can't figure out how far it is. And I'm trying to show you here. It does have a little three-dimensional uh, movement to it. Another thing is, if you notice, I got a good wind blowing today. You can see how it's, it's moving back and forth over there. So that's supposed to spook them a little bit. So there's our design. It's about three acres. It's, four, uh, it's 40 big poles and 40 small poles. So as you can see, it's pretty big. And like I said, the peas are coming up. So Chuck's over there putting it up. Here's our station where we're going to do it. We jump the wire, the electric wire signal into there. We'll go across and back down. Mr. Campbell's plugging our charger in now. Now it's a little bit older of a charger. We know they make them now solar power. We're talking about getting one of those next year. We got a, we drove a ground in last year. That's why we use this station. It's got a ground. He's hooking it to the ground and we're we got this old busted chair, we're gonna move our battery, try to get it off the ground a little bit higher. And we're gonna try a feeder solar pile, solar panel to maybe charge that battery, see how that works. And we put, we got three trail cameras stationed around the food plot, around the fence in areas. Not saying that we could be so lucky and get the deer interacting with the fence at those three spots, but we can move the cameras around as it goes. We're gonna do another episode of how effective we thought it was. At least they'll get pictures of them if they're in the fence. I don't think we're gonna keep 100% of them out, but if we can keep, you know, 70% out and get these peas up, that'd be good. So, anything you'd like to add, Chuck? Uh, hope for 100%. 100%? <laughs> Until we take the fence down. Until we take the fence down? But best thing about now is um, we're done. <laughs> It's quite a chore. It's the most physical labor other than driving tractors, I'd say we do. But what's encouraging is to see all these peas coming up. So stay tuned. We're going to stay tuned. We're going to um, definitely have um, another follow up show like we did last year. Had some great video of um, the deer jumping through the fence design last year. Matter of fact, let me show you some of that video now of the deer jumping through the fence from last year. And so we, we sat in the tower stand and could, could monitor them. So give it a couple, couple weeks. We'll, maybe we'll sit in the tower stands and see what the deer are doing around the fence. So hopefully they're going over to that nice, big, lush 20 acres of peanuts we got across the road instead of messing with this little measly three acres of um, iron clay peas. So anyway, it's done. It's, it's different design. We figured it out. Hopefully it'll work. So stay tuned and thanks for watching Reality Hunt Club. We have a ton of ways for you guys to follow us and to keep track of our new videos that we put out. 
Uh, probably the most popular way is Facebook. Log into your Facebook account and go up to the top search bar and type Reality Hunt Club. There you'll see our Facebook page. Go over and like like us, and you'll be getting updates in your Facebook stream as to our um, new videos that come out. Another way is YouTube.com forward slash Toxic Givens. Click the subscribe button up at the top, and you can subscribe. And, of course, you can always leave your comments in Facebook. You also can do it here in YouTube. This is so, this is me showing you an example of how to leave a comment in YouTube. And, of course, we have a Twitter account, too. You can follow at Toxic Givens if you have a Twitter account. And, of course, we have the website, ToxicGivens.com. You can follow us there. And if, you want, if you've got an iPhone or any kind of MP3 device, you can, you can click on the link iTunes, and we, we have an iTunes channel where you can download a smaller version of these videos. And finally, we're on Google+. If you, you, you log in your Google Plus account and you type Reality Hunt Club, it'll take you to our Google Plus page. So many ways to follow us. Pick one, pick them all, however you want to. Please follow us and uh, keep track of our videos. And we'll keep bringing you good content and um, from this point on. So thanks for watching Reality Hunt Club.